after the normal I'm playing in the uh, Sunday uh, this is the uh, weekly Warzone final slightly higher prize fund uh, 50 prizes not 100 not like the daily Warzone final thousand cubits to enter so you, to get your thousand cubits back though um, in fact all 50 prizes will get your thousand cubits back um, okay so uh, one minute to go 53 evented average rating 2021 um, there's been an inspiring Kings engine defense game in the British Championship playoff I might play the Kings engine a bit more uh, it's still been played by Grandmasters uh, with success never quite uh, refuted although the bayonet attack seems really dangerous um, but uh, no, I think chess is too big maybe for some openings to be made totally unplayable um, especially in blitz and rapid so uh, so I don't know okay so in this anyway 56 have entered 2023 high all on stream okay okay um, and when is it starting now 26 seconds okay so yeah I think in in this two minute chess anything should go in theory uh, in theory I think gambits quite dangerous very dangerous two minute time control especially if the idea is to win games quickly uh, you don't want long positional games like comp off I don't think um, that sort of chess is brilliant for Warzone but um just my opinion so you don't want the long drawn out endings I think quick win somehow so uh, and win quickly lose quickly but um so here goes elephant gambit time <laughs> with a difference he's played Bishop c4 which is not the usual move but it gets gets uh, gets him out of his um, thing Bishop g5 there's oh okay and hit two points Queen c1 alright now Bishop f3 if knight f3 and okay maybe castle here I'll protect this for a moment he's weakening his king a bit if he's going to play g4 he's not really going to play g4 is he um, let's put my king a bit safer right, so the clock situation is quite critical let's try and get uh, a knight h5 move so I can get knight g3 as a threat here uh, this knight f5 was good so now we take and then knight g3 let's get, install that knight and maybe f6 for a moment g5 knight d4 okay going to do something about this um, so knight d4 have oh, I got c file pressure um, now he's got c3 though I got knight f3 hang on so I can play that I have got knight takes f3 check winning the exchange that's cool okay so clock I've got a claw back on the clock competition uh, without losing a rook ideally with the exchange queen f2 might have been playable there for knight f1 come on think second chance knight f1 check could be dangerous here but then what actually knight e2 could be dangerous for queen g1 no he's, he's going to spend time he's going to have to evict my queen somehow that's going to be tricky h3 is going to be dangerous rook g1 i take and open the h file hopefully so if he takes h3 i'm threatening mate no queen d2 here I've got this h file to contend with so rook h8 coming up it looks pretty pretty dangerous he's resigned okay I'm on the scoreboard okay <clears throat> so this system it looks good actually because central control central control and I think queen e7 queen e2 is a good position here it's come up in five minute chess because I get knight d5 in uh, so that knight has to go back somewhere knight d5 looks um, uh, pretty tasty I have queen c5 oh 
always just plunder the queen, even better. That's put me quick, very quick win there with the Vienna game. So Vienna game, another weapon of choice. Okay. I had some banter with this guy earlier in the tournament. <laughs> okay. <laughs> About the Olympics. Uh, the guy from the Columbia. Okay. He wasn't that keen to play me at the moment. Okay. So we get another Vienna game for E5 or not? Nope. Ooh, metronome pace. A few seconds every move. Okay. So I could try and go for a grinding long positional game to try and win on time if the position gets really bad, maybe, if needed. Maybe it's just got a slow connection or something. Uh, so this is the case where... Okay, that doesn't look too hot. I hope, unless knight g4 is really dangerous. So f4, knight g4, maybe that's, that's worth doing something about. Take this one for knight d5. We've got nice control on the, the light square diagonal here. So that f4 I can take now. Maybe f4 is worth playing. He's going to play f5. Or something. There's no bishop e3 at the moment. Because of the knight. Uh, I've actually got queen d4. Okay, does that. Okay. I can win pawn or two. If I take on b7, I'll take on e3 first and d4 maybe. The center is quite good. I think. Can I risk rook f7? This, because then I get e6 in. So that's making way for that e pawn. He's got knight f4 though. But uh, it's the price to pay, isn't it? E7 is a really good threat. Also, I thought. Okay. Uh, can I do this without losing? Okay, so can I do this? Uh, no, not, not there. Here without a check. Alright, I think I have to bring in more stuff. 40 seconds. If I get d6 in, that would be dangerous for d7. Alright, oh, I've just allowed knight d3. Hang on, knight d3 is rookie 2. Right, I think I'm 35 seconds. I've really got to get my pawns up there. ASAP. H5, H4, there's king F3. G4, I could probably just take. I'm controlling G8. So I need my pawns up there. Also, there's E5 and E7 to consider. Okay, 33 seconds. Okay. If I get this one to c7, then play d6. Ah, okay, time to sack the exchange. He's not going to take it though, is he? He's going to play check g4. He's going to take it. I've got an armada of pawns. It should be easy to play. Oh, he's got the h pawn. Play, play for this one first. He's not even going for the h pawn. So c7 is going to be pretty juicy soon. D6 for D7 or C8. Okay. E7 second queen. 18 seconds. If I get another queen, it should be easier. There's no rook a2 here. It's queen e3. Oh, 
Okay. That was a little bit dangerous. The exchange that helps a lot because he just simply took it. This guy's a killer. If I play him, I probably just resign straight off the bat. He just absolutely slaughtered me last time I played him. <clears throat> This system's really good because of this check, which is not lying. That's cool. Okay. That's interesting. Why would he play bishop d2? Looks passive. Knight f2 now. Okay. Knight f2 looks, or just just casting. Why not just check? To, okay, I win the exchange. It's got it's got a point. Um, unfortunately, hang on. Okay, I'll win the exchange. Or the rook on f4. I'll get this bishop. It could be dangerous. Otherwise, so knight g5 could be dangerous. So he can queen e8 to g6. <clears throat> All right, let's stop that guy going any further. And pin this guy. It's cheeky, but it does pin the knight. I right, get this check here. The back row could be. Troublesome. Alright, I think um connect the rooks. So knight g6, rook f5, knight e7. Uh, maybe c4 would have been or here, just bishop b5. Just get this queen off. Bishop b5 would be really good. If rook okay, bishop b5 here. Mind you, check King F seven, Rook F three. I can take. Otherwise, he's got a perpetual check with Knight G six. That's really quite dangerous. Okay, the check King E seven, Queen check. I think this should be okay. Make sure G seven's not going. Get the other rook to uh, F eight. Yeah, he's resigned. Okay, but this guy, man, Hunter two two zero five is doing well. So candy slave, huh? Slave to candy. Okay. I think Spar have had stuff during a game like Tagbrine. Build up the uh, sugar level, mental effort, and stuff probably helped. Okay. Uh, F5 and Bishop G5. Okay, get away from that. I think F5. Okay, although giving up the E5 a little bit. Although Bishop F4 restores the E5 control. And actually, Bishop C7, these guys will be forked. And there's Bishop H6. There's, uh, I think I'll play. Bishop f4. More subtle bishop c7. Also, there's the g file to consider. Um, so, fret bishop c7. But also, king h1, rook g1. And that's this diagonal. It's cheekily win that. But my g file, hang on, this could backfire on my king pretty shortly. And that's knight g5. I'm threatening knight f7. That knight's kind of reinforced. B6 
bishop f6 I just take it bishop e5 well bishop e5 okay there's rook f7 now hang on a sec can't do that okay he's going to win my queen but he's going to lose his first but he's going to win mine I oh, just resigned okay okay uh, hunk h u n c I think knight c6 is favorite taking here sacking the knight here fd5 I'm just winning knight here I've had this before okay um, if knight a5 if takes maybe okay I'm protecting that the point is to protect g4 there with that d5 the point of this is to play queen h4 so I'm sort of getting some I'm blocking the, the um, file so g3 so I'm blocking f file um, okay so g3 threatens mate and bishop here which would appear to be good news to do that I think bishop f I'm not sure about that bishop f4 threatening mate and the bishop okay that's that's a good response okay what about just knight f6 here or bishop h3 I think knight f6 for a moment I right, was going for that nasty pin. I right, can play bishop h3 or bishop a6. I think bishop a6 is is interesting. It doesn't block the queen from h2. It gets the rook away from there. Maybe bishop d6 after. If the rook moves, okay, bishop d6 just in case. Okay, I think I've gone into a fork. Hang on. Why did I go into that fork? I can't do anything about e5 now. It's queen f3. Okay, can I get in uh, dangerous? Unfortunately, he's. Uh, I've got King G8 as a move. On rookie seven, there's King G8 without any check. So I'm threatening Queen F1, Queen F2. So rookie seven, King G8 without getting massacred. If King H6, Queen H6. If King H8, Queen H6. Okay. If Knight C3, Queen F2. And I'll try, try we winning the rook. So this might be okay. This position just about on this move. So I'm threatening Queen F1. I'm still Queen F2. So knight c3, queen f2 takes, and I queen that pawn. I win a rook. Unless I don't think anything else. Do it all with check to win this guy. Um. Okay, I have to sack the exchange or something. No, I don't. I can protect h7. I've got to get a move on on the clock. Okay, resigns. Okay. <clears throat> Dangerous I am. So we've got this Nimzu Indian debate going on. Oh, he's not playing him for that. Okay. I thought he would. So we've got some sort of weird position now where maybe Bishop b5 could be effective here as a disruptor, if nothing else. He's gone for it again. Okay. hitting that maybe e5 is useful do I want to give him that uh, square g6 I'll play h4 
Okay, H5 later. Oh, a bit crude. Okay, H5 and G5. Mind you, there's 95. No, the queen's protecting. If bishop G5, F4, but then this diagonal's a bit weak. Okay, I'll try and get rid of this guy. I'll try and weaken some light squares. But he's going to have a nice blockade on D5. Okay, I'll try and hold the fort here. Step up with the king. Oh, hang on, f4. Okay, I think the king needs to go back, not get involved too much. Oh, come on, come on. G5, f, h6. Is f4 possible? All right. So it's not good now. Oh, I should have got that C file when I had the chance. Why didn't I do that? <sighs> Come on, think. But is this bishop going to be loose if he tries to win? He plays rook d3, just plays rook d3. Then he wins more material. Okay, I thought this was going south pretty quickly, but no, maybe not. So quick, quick. Okay, if I take this, or just f5, because I keep keep the pawns mobile. That's better. Um, okay, so maybe like f6 is good now. I get rook d8, and if I get rook d8, and my, my g5 is also probably a mating net. Rook check, rook h8. It's near to be a mating net. Knight g5 and rook h8 without losing the g5 knight. There, mate, that is mate. Oh, come on. Okay, on the light square, there's no, no there's no rook c5. He's going to have to go the exchange now. I'll win f7. It looks good. There's bishop d2. No, I can just take that. I get to f5 here. Do I do I play that or something else? I think I want to because okay, I can get check. Oh no. Maybe not. Too late, I've mucked up. I've mucked up, hang on. <laughs> I've really mucked this up. It's a real shame. Oh, it's tragic. It's just tragic. I thought that was a winning position. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, well, it was one of the better games than the one I lost. <laughs> Oh well, uh, maybe you know what he played was resourceful anyway. Bishop a5 was was really very good. Has to be said. So I have to try and get over it. Can I move on? Okay. So e3 knight b4, a3 knight d4. If knight b4 here, actually I'll try and. Um, Okay. And bishop c4. Is this bishop in trouble? Not really. Is his development in trouble though? Can I just play uh, 
to f5. His development here seems a bit in trouble. So maybe knight f4. Whoa! No, I've just trapped the bishop. Oh, my bits. Oh, I've just trapped the bishop. He's just trapped my bishop. Come on, think. Knight e3 would have been good as well. Ah. Oh. I can win a3 here. I like these seven. Oh, it's all getting a bit messy. Take us on d7. I'll take on c1. But there's a chance of knight c2 if the rook moves. Which would be a quick win. But he's not going to do that, is he? Okay, I can keep this lot locked in a little bit. Uh, which might be useful. Or not. No, he's coming out. Oh man. Ah, oh, okay. I've just put my rook in pre and he didn't take it. There's bishop c3 a threat. Oh, here. Not good if rook and there's rook d5 if uh, potentially if, uh, if rook a1. There's rook. Mm. Nope. Oh, that doesn't look good. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, just I'm hanging too many pieces here. Collapsed a bit. Slap in the face. Slap in the face. Come on. <laughs> okay, this might not be hot either. I hope it's a little bit dynamic, but uh, oh, there's knight d5 anyway. Or d4, maybe like d5. Okay. If I get this f4, queen b3 here, threatening queen b7. Maybe just king f2 to try and calm the situation down. Was knight g5. Oh. Alright, it's going a bit crazy. Oh, this isn't hot either. I'm not a piece down though, just yet. I've come off the boil uh, in this game, in previous Knight E4. Right, I've definitely, I've definitely come off the ball, and I've got worse position again. I might have to resign this because <laughs> uh, this, this G file is not looking good. Ah, uh, he's playing too solidly for my liking. I don't know. There's nothing to, uh, there's nothing to attack here. This, this sense is too strong. I'm going to give that one up. The sense is just huge. I think that's busted by opening quite badly. Oh well. More dyke coat. Okay, he's giving that light square bishop a bit cheeky. He was expecting a pre move. Get back the fire. In the belly, how do I get back the fire in the belly? Just go for crude stuff again. What about Bishop F2? Come on, accurate moves would help. <laughs> Bishop F2, oh man. If I'm gonna play like this, now Knight F2 might be, a, okay. All right, it's helping me out. All right, there's Queen G3 here. All right, so there's Queen H and Bishop G four. So if I get in Bishop F three, that'd be really cool. All right, back on the horse. If I can win this, hopefully I can. So G three and Queen H two. And Queen G three and Rook H four. Oh, 
I'm right, trying to get back on the horse, but someone's on a hundred here. This could be hard to catch up. I think I'll play Knight F3 a bit, a bit safer with Knight F3. Retty, King's Engine, slower build up. System Fisher used in his youth, sort of cold spring kind of attack system. So, trying to get the center stretched with D4. is looking interesting. Okay, maybe D five. Right, just uh, let's change these guys off. Let's try and weaken blacks. Light squares. Okay, I can pin that one. I think a3. Oh, there's this, this knight d3. I'll rule that out. So a3. a3 actually, I think I'll take care because uh, actually he had knight e4. a3 here, rook c2. Um, well, there is knight g5 check to start off with. It's a bit loose though. Hang on. What about just. Something else, Queen E3, for example. What would he do on Queen E3? The knight's pinned. Knight A2, I'll just take that. Okay, so Knight G5 here for Queen F3. Okay, Knight H7 a threat potentially. So Knight D3, Knight C2, I'll just take here. Yeah. Ninety-four. Take. Okay. Uh, two rooks with the queen isn't bad. I'll go for that deal. If he's going to go two rooks with the queen, but I don't want him on f2. Hang on a sec. Protect f2. I don't want him with the queen on f2. So knight e3. Kick these guys. There's knight c4. We get this pawn going. If I get b6 in, b7, I'll take this guy then. Alright, if I double, then there's rook, f, rook c7. If I get rook c7, then his, his king's questioned. The question's for the king. Okay. I need of this guy's crater the gulf. Twenty eight minutes to go. Okay. Uh, if he takes then this is a possible move, I suppose. Check or something. Knight d3. Knight g4, bishop e4, black queen e7. I'm just taking her. Right. King f8 of check. Because c6, yeah, take, take my a6. There's a yeah, classic Greek gift on there's rook h6 for this third rank to be useful. Uh, so rook g6, uh, there, and then there's bishop h2, if rook g1. So at least I've got the rook active. Um, 
Oh, there's Bishop H3 here. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, probably not. Just takes it. King E2. Just protects the rook. He hasn't gone for that. Okay, he's accepted my bluff. And get this H pawn. I had that earlier on today, then H pawn attack. I'm going to just take an H2, sort of queening the pawn. Or winning a rook. There's knight g4. Hang on, let's just take the rook. Um, that's queen b5, quick mate. That's queen b5. No, no, hang on, king e1. Just take and then bring the other queen in. Okay. Okay, it's resigned there. Okay, so I need oh, so the gap's smaller. Maybe maybe it's catchable. If I can get some quick wins in. Reverse tango. That's white. I think I undermine the centre here. Oh, it's not happening, is it? All right. Maybe the C files are useful later. I'll get this bishop or B five on the cards. What about bishop G four? Just weaken these. Um, <clears throat> try and weaken these light squares. Uh, so he's accepting that. Maybe even queen exchange. It might even be a tactic on F five. Queen exchange. Locks up down f5. Then I can construct on the c file. If I play bishop d2 and double rooks on the c file with f5 locked down, that should be okay. Bishop d2, rook c1. Any g5, there's knight f5. So double rooks here. <clears throat> Potential for a4 at some point. Okay, is this is this okay? There's no knight before just yet. If I can double rooks. Oh. Harmless. Oh dear. <clears throat> I can get my king over then. Although this is dodgy now. What am I doing? What am I doing? Get the king over here. And he's got a clock advantage. <clears throat> so I've got double pawns. I've got really uh, no advantage. I can play for f4 or knight f5 if the knight wasn't there. Knight f5 is a cheaper. That is one cheaper I did have in the possession. Okay. Forcing move. Cheaper. He's not even taking it. He's just giving me a knight. Just ignored the tactic totally. Give me a whole piece. Okay, interesting. Why don't I just take on h6? Okay, there's various ways of. <laughs> um, what is he going to do? On the mind b4, I can play bishop f8. Just in case. We've taken them b5. I'll just try and get my pawn going. If I generously play knight f5 to give him a piece back, I'll get two pass pawns. He's not, he's not accepting that one. Um, okay, I think I'm going to lose on time at this rate, so I've got to just get this g pawn working. Maybe take on e5. Get away from these checks. Right, the knight can sack itself.
Let's say this. I think we should see five. Void still, mate. If possible. Right, still on the game away. Ah, uh, it's, it's going to be hard to win this tournament at this rate. I don't know. Ah, bit of ah. I think I'll need some stuff like that. I will need some luck. Twenty-one minutes. Oh no, swimmers again. What a draw? <laughs> no, <laughs> swimmers again. He's going to teach me a beating again. I was in a good position last time I played him. He didn't want to draw after that robbery, daylight robbery <laughs> in the previous game. Although my king was, was out and about a bit. Um, he's probably going to do that here. So I'll play h4. I don't want the king out and about too much. <laughs> oh, cool. He's going to give, me up, give up the bishop to get this check. Get the light square bishop. Oh, he just plays bishop h4. Okay. King's out and about again. Staunton style. It's probably not too hot against Liam to do this. Uh, why do I keep doing this against Wams? He gets the position he wants against me from the opening. Uh, why do I play such a, like such a bunny? <laughs> I'm playing d5. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know. is also looking good. Right, so okay. I think rook h5, okay, that looks like dangerous for the h file. Uh, give up material too easily maybe keep doing that against them well I'm losing e4 now again what was, what was the point of that okay what about rook g3 that's a bit of compensation not much That's a good one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ouch. That's a good one. On this, on this bishop d5. There's 97. He's only got 49 seconds again. He's very good on blitz, actually, as well as I am. I don't think it's just being an I am which does it. So he's a piece up for nothing. Uh, I guess I should resign on the principle of win quickly, lose quickly. But there's always a chance because he's got 30 seconds. There's always a little chance, maybe, of a slip up. You just have to look at the British Championship playoff. They had 10 second increment stuff, and there was a slip up. Okay. Try and get mobile pawns. Okay, what about g4? Okay, b3, c4. We'll take first. Well, there's rookie 2, dangerous. He's got 11 seconds. Can I get a check anywhere? Rookie 8 would be dangerous. Retax. I can get his pawns. Hold on a sec. 
I'm just plunder the piece. Fantastic. Can I win on time? <laughs> oh, he had a mate with knight c3. I think he had a force mate with knight c3. No, rook c3. <sighs> I just don't like playing him. <laughs> He's a, no more swayings. I don't want to play him. <laughs> He just does me in! Oh, okay, Stonewall, forget e5 against knight f3. Okay, okay. Um, okay, I don't want double pawns, get dynamic. Compensation. I hope. Can I reinforce d5 anytime soon? If I can get to play bishop c6, it takes that, yeah. G5, and on g file, dynamic. Let's protect this guy first. Hold on a sec. Then I'll play h5. Try and get the g and h files. Okay, maybe without even sacking a pawn. Why sack your pieces when you can sack the opponents? I think Tartagoa said that. Is check. No, I want to open up the lines. Come on, think. Open up the lines. Get this knight back. Would be handy, or even f5. Same castle principle. There's a video on my channel about Mrozovic uh, against. Uh, is Bishop g4 any good? Weakening the same castle. Okay, is g2 any good for Bishop h2 and then Rook g1? Okay, cool. The yeah, Mrozovic against uh, Polgar. <coughs> that was in the uh, that was in the Mrozovic line of the uh, burn variation of the French. It was really good because it was um, systematically uh, sort of undermining uh, the king. It sort of impressed me really. Uh, Mrozovic, uh, unfortunately, he was um, taken on well in his last tournament. He had to withdraw from the bill. Very exciting player. So, uh, what about Bishop a3, the knight e5? Okay, so knight e5, then maybe knight c6 and bishop e4. Well, just this center looks like it's got a lust to expand, as Fisher would say. Or was it that it was past pawns a lust to expand? Okay. Um, nothing's got lust to expand here. Okay, let's let's. Uh, Let's play rook d1, okay. He's gonna castle queen side. What about queen a5? Okay, d4 is not collapsing just yet. Uh, d5 is not st still not useful. This b file looks as though it should be useful on king b8. Okay, maybe c3 is a handy move. Knight e5 could be a handy move if the knight moved away from d7. Uh, my king could be in trouble. I'll block this diagonal for a sec. And bishop a6 is also on the cards here. In fact, take some bishop a6. Is a mate. Beautiful. Okay. Um... Is King's going to make a run for it? About knight e5, just bishop c5 here. Or even just rook b6 if I want to tear into his king. Because uh, then bishop b7 and c7 would be mate. Cool. Okay, so unfortunately there's a gap again, 11.58. So Edwin, he's a very fast player in the morning. 
Okay. Elephant gambit time, maybe. Waylag or something? He's got Waylag. <laughs> His nickname Waylag. Okay, this looks as though this is going to be a problem game at the moment. Okay, he's got all the stuff going for him. Nice center. Can I set this H pawn to get crude H2 attack? Alright, so knight G4 maybe. Queen D6. When he's not looking. Oh, this one there. I don't know. Looks hopeless. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Go back here. No, that loses a piece. What about here? Here. Hang on. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I mean, it looks it looks practical to get to his king vaguely. Although, okay. What about this F file? Probably need this F file. What about E3 just for this diagonal? Uh, I think. Alright, so I've got F, I've got check on E4, and then Rook F3 could be handy. Okay. So check, uh, there's no Rook E6. Okay, so G4 here. Um, okay, I'm going to install that other rook. Oh, well, I can't just yet. Rookie 3 doesn't work here, I guess. Alright, what am I doing here? What about protecting this in H4? I'll lock down these pawns for a sec. He's got a few seconds advantage on the clock. Right, if I get to play h4, that would be dangerous. He doesn't really want to do that. Or maybe he does, okay. Get this pawn going, if nothing else. Down to 16 seconds. Dear oh dear, you gotta laugh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, someone on 161. Ah, tempted to offer a draw because it could be really dangerous. It's not for a draw, being a chicken. Ah. I just wanted to try and win the tournament, you see. Ah. Now it's already in bad position. Okay, king at e1, f2. 
All right, it's an okay position. It's an okay position. Let's go with it. I don't know if that's. I don't know. Have we got anything? Off a draw here. Looks good here. Don't really want a mega positional battle. Okay. This is enough to equalise, I think. But I've got to get this 30 points golf. If I can score some quick mates rather than four minute positional struggles. Oh, Bishop C4. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'll get the pawn on D3. Okay, if I get... Oh, come on, come on, think. This isn't good, is it? I'm queen B2, though. Where's the knight going? Knight's loose. If queen A4, queen... Oh, don't tell me, check. Mating with E6. Okay, he hasn't gone for that. This might be more favourable for me, you never know. This bishop's a menace. So, uh, uh, keep the king so it kind of protected a bit. Maybe d3. Oh, now he's going for this. Um, Alright. If I allow that check, that's bishop c7. Alright, so knight f6. Alright, get the g file, maybe that's good for a quick mate on g2. How could that be arranged? Also, there's knight h5. Okay, the knight d4, bishop d4. I uh, can't see anything that easy. That's a good pin, though, surely. That could help defend f6. You can go for queen f3 and check on e5. I've got bishop f2 here. Actually, I win the queen. That's knight c7, there's a complication. Um, let's just move, move, move. Come on, I don't know. Knight d7, bishop d4. I, I can't think. Bishop c8 at this rate, after knight c7, I take. I play bishop c8. He's going to take on f6, let's torch out now and take this guy. So queen e4, bishop b7, three minutes to go. Target g2. Okay, there's two threats queen c1, queen g2. Queen g2 is not a threat. Okay, I need a very quick win or two to catch up. Is that rowing or something in the last second when they caught up? Uh, that happened dramatically in one of the uh, events uh, in the Olympics. Can I use that last few seconds? 2 minutes 22 to go. Uh, 94 probably. Sack the C pawn, just get F, F4, F5 in. Right, so Bishop G5. Mind you, there's no G6 here. Oh, 
Uh, I'll take this guy. Got knight d4 here for bishop e6, the knight f5. Oh, that's not happening. I'll just blunder the piece. Oh, to e5. Uh, so the best thing to do here, I don't know, is probably quickly resign. Uh, I'm not going to do anything there. 1 minute 20, no, it's gone. This guy's too too, too far. Might come in second. If I can, I thought you offered the draw. Are we allowed to draw in the last round, or did he not offer a draw? Or? No, I just use this forty-six seconds for a very quick mate. It still wouldn't catch up. Twenty points wouldn't do it. That's <laughs> not happening. They will play e6 out of caution or something. Yep. Okay. Uh, f4. Maybe get the queen to h5. Rook f3 to h3. That's oh, bishop g5. Cubits? Third. Oh, it's 10,000. Has it been changed? Okay. Overtaken a little bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, oh, it's the um, weekly Warzone final. There's more cubits at stake. Uh, so 10,000 for third. 15, 20. Whoa. An extra 10,000 cubits if I could catch up. <laughs> Another 5,000 if I just remained in second there. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks very much.